Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have discussed about that routes and I give you some of the very basic idea how can create some of the route and how can load some of the page as a, that means how can return some of the view page as a contact at the about, right? And also we have created some of the view page as a about the contact plate.php, the um, about plate.php. So as I told you friend in Laravel that is the blade syntax that means if you want to create some of the file in Laravel you have to create it by this blade syntax as a blade.php. So when you use that blade.php you can use some of the Laravel blade syntax which is very much interactive one of the things. So friend step by step I will show you all that syntax I, I show you what exactly that means that the blade syntax uh, like here into the view. I want to create one of the new file. So in PHP, I what exactly we did in PHP? If you want to create some of the page, then we have to write down. I like right now. I need to name it as a test. Okay, test.php. So that will be our test.php file. So into the PHP, what exactly we did into the PHP? If you want to echo some of the variable data, then we have to write down like that way as a uh, PHP. And then we have to finish this PHP and into the PHP area we take one of the variable right we take one of the variable as a dollar right now I name it as a world okay I name it as a world and to the world area if you want to show some of the value as a high Aryan so this type of one of the stream value if you want to visible then you have to do you have to echo it right that means you have to echo you have to echo this variable that means that is actually the variable right but in laravel that is totally different so in laravel here when you use that blade syntax so into the blade syntax they have the another command for display this value that means this display this variable that will be pretty much easy so here you have to do you have to add double second bracket into the double second bracket area you have to simply run your this variable okay so that is the supported with this blade template. So the, the blade template, they have a the lot of the functionality that you can actually use. So here you don't need to write this type of all that code. If you want to display any variable data, you can display it by only using this double second bracket. Okay, that means the curly bracket. So that is the one example of using that blade syntax. And also in PHP, what exactly we did in PHP, if you want to show some of the if condition data, like is if, and into the if area here we have to like pass one of the id or variable whatever you want and then we use it as if and then the else right after that we use that as else so that is our else and into the else area here we need another condition right that is a if condition and the else that is another condition but when you use that blade syntax that is a blade.php here you don't need to write down this work like that way here you have to do you have to simply add your if condition with at the rate if okay at the rate if, if and here you have to add that condition and then you have to do you have to end it with the at the rate and the and if the same as for the for loop if you want to use some of the for loop you have to use that at the rate for and that means a for each so that will be as a at the rate for each and after that also you have to do you have to add that and for okay that means the and for each so friend that is the all that blade syntax okay that means the blade syntax all that code for the laravel so when you use some of the if condition will use this type of one of the if condition when you use some of the for each condition then we'll create our for each conditions like that way not that php i hope you get some of the idea so that is actually pretty much basic some all that uh, syntax so literally for our project we'll use a lot of the blade syntax okay so that is the our blade syntax for this ones here when you create anything that means any file in laravel you have to add it as a blade.php so when you use that blade.php you can able to use all that blade syntax so i hope you get some of the idea so right now we don't need this file for education purpose i'm using it so better i want to do and to remove it so that is our php dot so here i want to do and to remove this file so i just simply remove it so that is our um, blade um, syntax i hope you get some of the idea so in our next video i want to discuss about that controller so how can create some of the controllers into the app that is a http and that is our controller 
so how can create the controller how can working with this in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video